Well, I couldn't wait any longer. It's time to finally start looking at triple integration. Three iterations of integration. So this first little segment is to just start to consider what exactly the triple integral region of integration looks like. And we're going to go back to one of our class favorites. So we're going to consider a region, a solid region, bounded by 2x plus 5y plus z equals 10. Um, this happens to be a plane in the first octant. So in the first octant where x, y, and z are all positive, and this plane will be the other boundary in that first octant. And we're going to do a volume calculation um, for this particular example. So let's do a sketch. If x is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, and if y and z are both 0, we would have our x-intercept 5 units along the x-axis. And if y is 2, and x and z are both 0, then 5 times 2 is 10. So 2 units out along the y-axis. And finally, if z is 10 and x and y are 0, you would have what we would say is our z-intercept 10 units up. So it's not drawn to scale, but we've been using this triangle as a representation of the portion of the plane that's in the first octant. So let's think of this volume as a double integral, first of all. So when we set up a double integral for volume, um, we had to consider the two dimensional region of integration, the xy plane, x-axis, y-axis. And if we look here at our graph, we can actually see the visual that the y-intercept is two units up and the x-intercept is five units over. And from here to here, this is our two-dimensional region of integration. The line has an equation, y equals slope is negative two-fifths times x plus the y-intercept. And x goes from 0 to 5. So if I set up my... Um, double integral, I have the region to look at. Then I need a third dimension, the function of x and y, which is what z equals if we were to solve this for z equals, which would be 10 minus 2x minus 5y. So here's what we would have based on the previous sections we've been talking about. Volume would be equivalent to the double integral. And I'm going to go in the order dy dx. 10 minus 2x minus 5y. And x is going to be from 0 to 5. And y, I claim, goes starts at 0. y equals 0 is the x-axis to y equals the equation of the line, negative 2 fifths x plus 2. If we were to use these vertical rectangles as representations. So that's our volume from what we've done previously. So here is what I claim. That volume for a triple integral for this same region, 0 to 5, 
0 to negative 2 fifths x plus 2, 0, 10 minus 2x minus 5y, dz, dy, dx. I claim that this triple integral is equivalent to that double integral. Trying to imply a purpose for the triple integration, but not do it the same way the textbook would do it. So first things first, z equals zero is another name for the xy plane. The ground, so to speak. Then z equals 10 minus 2x minus 5y would be our third dimension. So let's verify that these two are identical to each other. Oops. I wasn't supposed to show that yet. Sorry, no extra time for a take here. The first antiderivative is with respect to z. So this will take me two integrals to go. And antiderivative of dz is z. dy dx come later. But z's boundaries go from 0 to 10 minus 2x minus 5y. And if we use the fundamental theorem, this turns into the following. You might be getting a little chorus of the frogs in the background. All right, must be tired. I was not talking while I was writing. I think you will find that this was our double integral. So all my purpose was, was just trying to show you that you could think of the double integral plus one more for some simple regions in three dimensions. Notice, because we're in the first octant, um, x, y, and z all started from zero. Now, what I'd like you to do is to consider um, another problem, another example. First octant bounded by this plane, 8x plus 3y plus 2z is 24. I want you to pause the video, try to set up the triple integration for the volume of that solid object. Let's go back to here again. So I'm going to suggest that you hit pause. All right, assuming that you did pause, let's take us to the example here. All right, so here I am sketching the graph. I'm going to let you guys look and see if you did it correctly. Me solving for z equals, because we'll need that for one of our integrations. Here's the two-dimensional region of integration found from using the three-dimensional graph. Here's an equation of that line. And finally, setting up the volume as a triple integration. I'm encouraging you to definitely hit pause as often as you need to for this little extra example. Just watching it isn't quite enough exercise. You need to try it without looking. All right, till next time.